Hey guys, this is Satya. Hope you all are doing well. Now in today's session, I would like to explain you about an error which is a frequent error while installing the WAMP server. And the error name is vcruntime140.dll. Now let's see how to fix this particular issue. I'm trying to install the WAMP server. And this is the error message which I'm receiving. The meaning for this message, if you read particular message, the program can't start because VC runtime 140.dll is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix the problem. This is the error message exactly. So in order to fix this particular problem, what you will have to do is, you will have to download the Visual C++ Visual Studio application. So in order to do that, we will go ahead. We will go ahead and download the Visual C++ reinstutable Visual Studio 2015 and download from here. The, the link for this particular application will be given to you in this particular video on the bottom line. You can download it from there. I'm clicking on download. Select the language first and click on download. So according, we have two different extensions available over here. One is x.64 and second one is x86. So according to the uh, config configuration that which you have, if it is 64, you can go ahead with 64. If it is 86, you can go ahead with 86. Now I am going ahead and downloading x64.exe and click on next. So I've already downloaded this particular application for you. Now let's see. I'll click on agree and say install and I'll say yes. The setup is successful. Now you close this. Now you try to once again install the WAMP server. We'll check whether it will work or not. Now we will have to see here and here you will be able to see the MySQL, the PHP, Apache, W directory and local host. If you click on local host, you will be getting these details. So the meaning for this is it is successfully installed. So this is how you will have to, you, this is how you will have to download this particular application and fix this problem and sometimes what will happen is while you're downloading this uh, after after you download this particular uh, application that is visual c++ or visual studio 2015 after you download that once you click on WAMP server it will not accept in that particular situation what you can do is you can reinstall the you, you can uninstall the WAMP server and reinstall it once again and the problem will be fixed thank you for watching this video guys Hope you all have loved and enjoyed this video and liked this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe for our channel and post your valuable comments. Thank you.